Okay, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So this particular video, we're gonna take a look at the stock shaft options for the TaylorMade, and in particular, obviously, the TaylorMade Stealth Driver. So okay, we're gonna test them in the Stealth Head and maybe see which shaft will hit certain different ball flights, as well as maybe spin numbers, accuracy, and also distance. Okay, so the three stock shafts that TaylorMade are offering is the Ventus Red 5, we've got the Hazardous RDX Smoke in red, and then also then the KI, I think they call it, in a 60. So three different shafts offering maybe three different ball flights, maybe suiting different speeds of golfers, as well as the spin as well. So as I say, we're gonna test all three. So we're gonna start off with the Ventus Red 5. So to keep the test as fair as I can, I've, I'm gonna use obviously the Stealth Plus head, so nine degree with the weight in the center. I'm gonna set all of these at nine degree on the shaft sleeve. And they're all stiff flex. Now I typically play an X, but I haven't got X in all three of these. So to keep the test as simple as we can, I'm gonna keep stiff in all three of them. So I say Ventus red to kick things off, and this is the five. So the weight on this in the stiff is 55 gram, and it's a more of a mid to high ball flight as a, as a characteristic. That's not a bad opening shot. So straight away there, you know, this is obviously plays a little bit softer for me, especially in that tip section. So I can feel a little bit more give in the shaft. Again, this is a feel aspect with shafts. So maybe when you go to that fitting scenario, you know, you might find something that's a bit more lively, a little bit more sort of boardy as we call it. So a little bit sort of stiffer, firmer. Again, that's a, a preference in a way, as long as it obviously matches up to your delivery. A little bit left around that one, but that feels pretty solid. So club speed about 114 ball about on that's 165 mark and quite a low spin there so 1800 on that particular shot 307 distance decent numbers so the other aspects we maybe want to look at as well with the shafts is the dispersion obviously some shafts will will suit different speeds as we mentioned there and sometimes can help with getting that club face control at impact and getting a little bit of that accuracy tiny bit leaky up the right but good solid strike again Again, very similar shot shape, very similar number. So pretty consistent there, to be honest, with that first shaft. I'm gonna hit one more and then we'll move into the uh, Smoke RDX Red. Oh, that's a bad one. That's a toe strike. That's left. Bit of a poor one to finish up on. Okay, so let's switch the shafts over now. Okay, so switch the shafts over. Same head as we mentioned now, Hazardous Smoke RDX, and this is the red. So again, it's a stiff flex. It's in that 60 gram area, actually coming in at exactly at 60 on this particular shot. So a little bit more of a mid ball flight, a mid spin offering now. So touch more weight and straight away there, I can sort of feel there's a little bit more weight up into that handle area. A little bit high toe, that'd be a bit of a low spinner that. You can just sort of see that just dropping out that sky a tiny bit. Yeah, just losing a little bit of ball speed. That spin 1200, that's more my strike there. So this shaft will probably just suit somebody who just wants something to play a little bit firmer. Maybe just control a little bit of spin, maybe a little bit of club face control. So definitely just feel a little bit more of a firmer feel to that shaft through the swing. Let's say just that little bit more weight, feels a little bit more stable. Oh, that's a bit of a healy one. Held its line, it's got a little bit left around it, but it's going to be hitting the fairway. Not the best of strikes there. So all these shafts we're trying here are no extra charge. So these come as standard uh, with, with the uh, stealth driving. Obviously you've got some what we call sometimes exotic shafts, which are obviously chargeable. And obviously sometimes you can be paying quite a lot of money for those types of shafts. But typically, you know, these are offering, trying to offer sort of a blanket over most golfers out there, club golfers, you know, who maybe wanting that sort of softer, lighter shaft, a little bit higher launch, maybe higher spin then that's slightly quicker speed, that mid shaft, and then maybe something a little bit firmer for that slightly quicker swing speed. So they're trying to hit a big audience there, aren't with those offerings, which again are all within the price of the golf club. A better strike again, just a little bit of that right hand side, that was a better connection though. Good ball speed, 165, should be decent enough carry there. Yeah, 281, getting around that just short 310 mark. Okay, so let's switch into the final shaft. Okay, so the final shaft, again, same head, is the Kylie and it's the white 60. Now, again, stiff, but the 60 is actually, to be exact, is 69 grams in weight. So obviously a little bit more weight, again, plays a little bit more firm. Even though all, the, all these are stiff, you'll feel a little bit of difference in the flex and the way that shaft bends, you know, to do with a little bit of that weight as well. So this, in theory, should suit me a little bit more towards my swing speed. 
So again, set 90 degree and straight away there, definitely feel a little bit of that weight. Feels a bit more substantial. A little bit off the bottom, but it's flown pretty much or very forward flight on that. 67, good ball speed. Just launched a little bit low, so not quite maximizing my carry. Yeah, just catching these a little bit low in the club face. These are coming out a touch low. It's probably not the shaft that, it's more the strike. But even on those really low strikes, which we typically see that spin really pop up, you can maybe see that sort of around that 2,600 mark. So maybe the shaft just controlling a little bit of that spin on my miss strikes. That was a better hit, a little bit left to right, a little bit higher up in that club face. 10 launch, 2 3 spin, you know, that 300. Again, maybe a fraction low, but not a bad one to finish up on. Okay. So there's three shafts hit. Let's go and look at some numbers and see what, if there's any differences in the performance between them. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the dispersion numbers to, or dispersion rings to start with. So we can see the white there was the Ventus Red, which to be fair was pretty good. I ate that real bad left shot, uh, which obviously spoiled that uh, ring. Has this smoke RDX Red is the orange, which again was pretty good, a little bit one up the right. And the and the Kylie White 60 stiff was the blue one, which was a little bit tighter there. And then moving into the numbers, we can see uh, club head speed, pretty identical there. Touch quicker the last two shafts, but literally not by much. Uh, ball speed wise, just increased a little bit, a bit more with the, uh, the Kylie there. I mean, I did get some slightly low in the face strikes, which you can see has affected that launch angle. So that's brought it down. That's obviously a bit more me, me striking the, uh, the club face a little bit more. And that's just popped the spin up. So I'd imagine if I got the strike a little bit higher up in the club face there, that spin will probably come down, the launch will probably go up, up and the distance would obviously would, would go up as well. But obviously looking at that, that particular test, you can see the Smoke RDX, which is around that 60 gram mark, just sort of got me the better numbers with the launch and the spin and obviously that carry and, and a little bit of that distance. Okay, so there we go. There's some results there. And I think on top of the results, maybe not seeing exactly what the shafts are doing. Again, probably your my strike and your strike when you come to test will sometimes override what these shafts might sort of promote in a way, but I think the, the other side of thing you've got to look at as well is feel, you know, and that's for me is very important as a fitter with, with customers coming in here, the shaft's got to feel right, the weight, the balance, um, the, the sort of whether it's lively or a little bit more boardy, again, that's probably sometimes a personal preference and then tying that into the all speed delivery and maybe a particular uh, sort of miss that you have on the golf course. So post comments down below, let me know your thoughts. Three stock shafts from TaylorMade, hopefully catch up with you all very soon.